So let's solve this one and talk a bit about uh, uh, such a point. Okay. So exercise number seven. Consider the magnetic core shown in figure seven. It notices that the three sides of the core are a uniform width. So you can see here that this side and this side and this side have the same width. So the same cross section. While the, this fourth side, let's uh, use another color. Ha has a different width. Okay. So, uh, notice that the three sides of the core uh, of uniform width. So, this length is uh, 10 centimeters, okay, as shown here. Whereas the fourth uh, side uh, somewhat is thinner. So, here, concerning the fourth side, the, the width here is is the is the half five centimeter the depth of the core into the page which means the thickness into the page okay so uh, the side you you cannot see into the page okay, uh, okay. exercise number six it's solved uh, well, I didn't uh, plan to solve it because it's solved in the uh, in the recitation. Uh, okay, so let's solve this. Uh, this one is uh, this one is uh, is okay. How to calculate R total? Okay. No problem. Uh, so let's solve this one. is uh, is short. It's not uh, a long. It's uh, it's long. And then let's uh, see the solution of uh, the exercise uh, number number six. Okay. Let's continue. We said that uh, the depth into the page is uh, ten centimeters. Inshallah, yes. Okay. Uh, the coil is has uh, th 300 turns and the relative permeability is 2000. Find the amount of the flux that will produce, uh, that's, that's find the, the amount of the flux that will be produced in the core by five amps of the current. Okay. So since the, the current is five, Amps. So, find the amount of the flux that will be produced by 5 amps of the current. Of course, the total flux, we can use the expression of the total flux. Phi is equal to what? Equals to F, which is the MMF, the total MMF, over, over R, which is the reluctance. The total uh, reluctance. Of course, F is over uh, is is equal to N I. N is given, and I is given. Now here, the reluctance. We have two reluctances. We have the reluctance of those three sides because they are uniform, and we have another reluctance of the fourth side. So here, the total reluctance equals to R L2, which is of the three sides here in the blue, they have uh, one reluctance, and plus the reluctance of this length, L1. Why here they have different reluctances? Because the cross section here is different. Okay, so let's uh, write it in the table better. So we said 
the total flux phi equals to what equals to n i over r total and uh, R total equals to what? Equals to R L2 of the three sides plus R uh, L1 of the fourth side. Okay. Uh, R L2, of course, equals to what? Equals to L2 over mu A. Mu, mu zero times mu r and of course r l1 equals to what equals to l1 over mu a yes how we can know that the reluctance are in series or in parallel it's uh, it's la it's according to the shape of uh, the core okay it's according here they are in series if we have a parallel branch because the flux has the same behavior as the current if we have a parallel branch those reluctance became in parallel okay the flux, ha uh, the flux has the same behavior as the current. Okay, so since here we have uh, two reluctances in series, of course. Okay, so this is the, those, the expression of uh, rel uh, those uh, reluctances. Okay, let's, uh, let's see the, the, the figure again. Okay, so we said that R of uh, L2 equals to what? No, it's not the same, of course. Of course, we are going to see it. So it's L2. L2 here, okay. This is L2, this is L2, okay is equal to what mm -hmm. the length here since the length here is 10 uh, plus 20 plus uh, 5 uh, centimeter so it's uh, 35 but we omit this part which is 5 centimeter and we omit this part okay okay so L2 is equal to what? Okay, I don't uh, care a lot about calculation. You, can, you have to focus with me. 27 and half, and 27 and half, and 27 and half. Uh, this is one side. So times three? No, uh, it's not times three because uh, we have uh, we have two sides that are the same, the upper, uh, the upper and the down. Okay. So 20 the and the below they are the same and the half and, and half yes and uh, the but one on the two. left it is 30 okay okay and half at the time is 2 plus 30 yes okay. uh, over uh, mu a here is 10 times 10 okay a the cross section is 10 times 10 okay this is uh, this is uh, reluctance of l2 reluctance of l1 equals to what here it's uh, 30 l2 is 30 so the length is is 30 centimeter over mu over uh, uh, the, the the cross section here is 10 which is the depth times five. Five is the thickness of this of this part. Okay. 
So those are uh, the expression of uh, reluctances and the total flux of course phi the total flux is f over r1 uh, plus r2 you can calculate directly the final value i think uh, it's clear uh, concerning this exercise it's not complicated a bit so here just you have to focus if you have those uh, if the core is consists of different parts different in the material or maybe different in the in the thickness or maybe different in uh, in the cross section you it it means that you have uh, different uh, reluctances where you get uh, 10 and uh, 5 okay concerning 10 it's given because they said uh, the depth the depth of the core yani this distance had the depth this distance is 10 okay hakadabshi kon 3d okay and 5 here it's 5 the uh, the thickness uh, is fine. Why 27? Uh, why 27? Uh, 27 here we have uh, 10 plus 20 plus 5 which is uh, 35 and the 5 from side and the human had 2.5 from the other side, so it's uh, 27 uh, and half. So this is concerning uh, the exercise number number seven. Well, to the exercise number six. 